Hello, my name is Lewis at Global Marine Networks, and today we're going to be discussing how to optimize your Windows machine for best performance uh, using your satellite link in our Xgate email software. Uh, this is a pretty important subject and um, fairly complex, so I, you'll want to maybe watch this video a couple of times until you understand the concepts. Uh, one of the big issues we have with satellite communication is that the links are quite slow and quite expensive. One of the problems that we have with current Windows implementations is that there's a lot of software that is installed on the system, including the system itself, additional applications like Skype, um, and third-party applications that like to call home over an open internet connection to check for updates, download updates, and virus scanning programs that update, update their virus scanning signatures and so forth. Um, the issue is that on these systems, um, the, um, they all compete for a very slow and expensive link. So when you're trying to do email or web browsing over that particular link, all these programs are competing with that link and causing your connection to slow down and run very, very slowly. So uh, in this session, we're going to discuss ways to improve or configure Windows uh, using the Windows Firewall to prevent access to the internet by all programs except for the Xscape program. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, when you first bring up Xscape after you've installed it and configured uh, the network link, um, Xscape, the Windows system, usually comes up and asks you some questions. So this is a version system where I've just installed Xscape and configured it for use uh, with an iSat phone. Um, although this principle is apply to all satellite phones. Um, we have an iSat phone here that we're using for demonstration, but everything I discuss today will, will work for iSat phone, Global Star, Iridium, or any other satellite system that uses a dial-up connection. So the first time we run um, Xgate, uh, the Windows operating system, uh, which in this case happens to be a Windows 7 64-bit machine, opens up a firewall window saying that Xgate is trying to access network services and uh, whether we should allow it. Um, the default is to allow Axler Surface to the um, private network, which is a network um, local to the computer and not public networks such as the internet. Uh, these rules, uh, this creates some rules in the firewall which pertain to incoming connections into Xgate. So since we're only doing outgoing connections, it really doesn't matter what your answer is. Um, if you were running in a multi Xgate email environment where you had people using web browsers or external programs to access Xscape email on this local computer, then uh, the settings would be important since those are incoming connections. Um, but um, the default here of just allowing it for private ne networks and not public networks is fine. So we'll go ahead and just say allow access. Now, um, once you start your connection, um, you'll see here in a few moments after the iSat phone link is brought up that the, fire, the Windows firewall also comes up and detects the new interface and then asks you um, in what classification that connection should be added. And you'll see here in a few minutes when, um, when the firewall detects a new connection that um, it's going to ask us if we want the new connection to be placed in something called the domain profile, the private profile, or the public profile. Uh, the private profile is um, a network connection that is used for local internal access to a network, and the public profile is one that is used for accessing the internet. Since we're doing an Xscape connection to a server on the internet, the profile that makes sense in this particular instance um, when it comes up is to select the public profile. And so here in a second here, once the iSat phone connection completes, which will be momentarily, I hope, um, we'll see that particular dialog and we'll select that particular dialog. And here it is. So we've established now a link to the internet and the Windows firewall is asking us what location this network connection is uh, to be assigned to and we're going to select public network because indeed we're accessing a public network and this is going to set up a Windows firewall profile for this particular interface. So let's go ahead and do that and then we're done. In the meantime we'll see that our email session with um, our server has completed and uh, the system is now hanging up. Alright now we need to start configuring the firewall. Um, by default 
Windows has configured this public profile for us on this particular interface. And as you'll see in a minute, let's go ahead and gain access to that. Uh, that public profile is blocking all incoming connections from the internet, but allowing all connections that are originating from the local network um, access to the internet. So to gain access to the firewall, we go to the Windows Control Panel, and you do that by clicking on the Start menu and selecting the Control Panel here, as I've done, and then um, double-clicking on the Windows Firewall icon. So here's the Windows Firewall icon. We see that we have a private network and a public network, and currently the public network is not connected, and this is the network that was created for you when we made that first connection with Xgate through the iSat phone. All right, so we want to configure the profile. So we need to go here to Advanced Settings. And uh, this opens up a new window for us and displays the profiles for us. So we have a public profile, which is the one that we're going to be using and configuring for our connection. And you'll notice that inbound connections that do not match the rules are blocked. So basically everything is blocked. And outbound connections that do not match a rule are automatically allowed. Well, this is the pr this is our problem. Our problem is this guy right here because Skype, Internet Explorer, and all these other programs that want to access the Internet, Windows updates, um, any antivirus program that we might have that needs to check to make sure if there's new virus um, rules to be downloaded are going to be competing with that link. So we want to disable that so that no one can use that connection except for the programs that we want that connection to work for. And in this particular case, it's going to be Xscape. So we're going to go ahead into the Windows profile here. And um, we clicked, let me just do that again. I clicked on Windows Firewall Properties. And we have our three profiles, our private, our public, and our and one that's called IPsec. I'm not going to worry about that right now. The public profile is the one that we're concerned with. So we're going to go to the public profile. Right now, outbound connections are allowed. That's the default. Well, we certainly don't want that. We want to block the connection. And so we want to hit Apply and hit OK. At this point, any outbound internet connections that are sourced from this computer will fail which means that if I were to bring up Xgate right now and hit the Go button and establish my connection to the internet through my satellite phone, access to our servers would be blocked and we would it would be impossible for us to do an email session. So what we need to do now is configure a setting for uh, the firewall rules that are going to allow Xgate explicit permission to access the internet. So this is uh, going to be an outbound rule for us because Xgate is going to originate the call. And what we want to do is we want to create a new rule. So we'll go ahead and um, select that. And we have several different choices here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule <clears throat> that is going to allow Xgate access. And it's going to have free reign. In other words, we're going to say Xgate can do anything it wants to over that open link connection. So we're going to click Next. Then it's going to ask us to browse for the path where Xgate resides. So the path is determined during the installation of the program. Um, by default, it lives on your drive C. This is a 64-bit computer, so it's going to be under profile program files x86. If it were a 32-bit computer, it would just be under program files. So we're going to open that. In there, you'll see a folder called Global Marine Networks. You'll open that. In there, you'll see Xgate. And if you click on that, you'll see the Xgate icon. And this is the um, this is the executable that was installed during the installation of the program. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Confirm that we have the path there. Hit Next. Um, now, we needed to tell Windows what we want to do. Well, we don't want to block the connections. We want to allow the connections. So this will allow Xgate connections to transpire through the, connect, through the Windows firewall. We'll hit Next. Where do we want this to apply? Well, we could just select public, but we want Xgate to be able to get through anytime. So why don't we just let leave it the default, which means that Xgate can access its servers through whichever um, internet connection is available to it. And we'll hit next. We'll give it a description, Xgate, Xgate email. And uh, we'll hit finish. And um, that basically creates the firewall rules for us. And if we go over here, now to inbound rules, 
I'm sorry, outbound rules, uh, you'll see that Xgate now has a rule and that means that it applies to all the profiles. It's enabled. The action is to allow accessing any address, any remote address using any protocol on any port. So we've opened up the firewall. Now, when we go to Xgate and we hit go, what will happen is Xgate will go ahead and establish a connection to the internet and it'll do its session with the email server and hang up. However, the difference this time is that no other program on the system will be able to access the internet, which means that Xgate will have this internet connection all to itself, which will improve the speed of transfer of data since there are no competing applications uh, using that limited bandwidth, uh, which will give you optimum performance, which will save you money and increase the speed of the connection. So um, we'll see here in a minute after this connection comes up that we have indeed completed the email session. So it takes about a minute for the ISAT phone to establish a connection to the internet. So we'll just patiently wait here while it does that and, um, and then complete. In the meantime, <clears throat> while that's happening, I just want to talk about a few more items in the firewall. So let me go ahead and bring the firewall back up, firewall rules back up. Okay, here they are. Um, we can go ahead and close this since we're now finished with this. Actually, right, so no, we're not. We're, let's go to advanced windows. Um, so this is back the original screen that we had where we specified the profile and the inbound and outbound defaults for this particular profile. Um, over here on the right hand side, <clears throat> there's a couple of menu entries which I want to um, discuss with you here. Um, the export policy button <clears throat> will allow you to save these settings into a file so that at any time you can restore them easily by using the import. So right now through that <clears throat> we've specified through the public profile that everything should be blocked. This means that if you were to access it, <clears throat> hook this machine up to <clears throat> an internet connection um, that were um, not to be used to be used for browsing the internet or so forth, say you were at home and you connected this up to your broadband modem and you were using the public profile, you wouldn't be able to browse the internet because you've told it to block. You won't be able to access um, your virus um, signature information. You wouldn't be able to do Windows updates because you've told it to, uh, to block all these. So what you want to do is you want to be able to enable and disable these rules uh, based on what your internet connectivity is. So one simple thing to do is to go ahead and export the policy and just uh, put it on your desktop or something and just call this Xgate and um, just, just hit save and uh, that will export the policy so that you can easily put it back next time and now what we can do is we can say restore to the default policy and if we restore to the default policy what that does is it sets everything back the way it was originally which means that your internet connection is going to work exactly like it always has um, if we're on our boat or we're traveling and we want to use a satellite phone we can just go here into import policy say yes browse the desktop for our Xscape policy and guess what you'll notice that outbound connections are blocked so this gives us an easy way to create our rules and then select when or when we want them on and when we don't want them on uh, for um, the function for internet functionality so I'm just going to close this down here a second here and just just go back and you'll notice that indeed in the meantime while I was discussing that our ISAT phone connection completed we communicated with the mail server and then we hung up and finished the connection so uh, that's how you optimize your internet link again I encourage you to do this because your internet performance will work m your internet email performance will work much much better um, with the firewall settings as I have described here um, these procedures work for Windows 7. They also work for Windows Vista. They don't work for Windows XP. Windows XP firewall only blocks incoming connections. It does not block outgoing connections. If you're on a Windows XP machine and you want to implement this functionality, you'll need to purchase a third-party firewall application that does this, and then you'll need to configure it appropriately. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that this has been a valuable lesson and until next time, uh, this is Lewis at Global Marine Network signing off.